All right. Trucks on the rack. This is awesome. It actually already tells you where you can change the ride height of the vehicle. Before you put your truck on the alignment rack, you need to make sure that your ride height is set. There's no point in aligning a truck if the ride height is off, and that applies to any vehicle, not just these 100 series with the torsion bars. In case it wasn't obvious, this right here is the adjusting nut. These are 30 millimeter nuts, or 30 millimeter bolt heads that you adjust your ride height for the vehicle. Well, boys and girls, this is a fantastic example of uh, why you shouldn't roll your truck. Unfortunately, the side I rolled it on is clearly bent way out of spec. Uh, these are the same upper control arms, set exactly the same, and uh, the measurements are way off. So, uh, to prove it here, back here, I've got the front uh, pulled all the way out and the back pushed all the way in, which is the reverse of most standard uh, alignments because most other suspensions, the adjustments are on the bottom. The idea here is that you want, you want the spindle, or the knuckle, whatever you call it, you want it to come backward. That gives you the best steering angle which is called positive caster. Some alignment um, machines will actually say that this is in the red if you have more than three degrees caster. So a lot of alignment shops will like reduce your caster, which is, is bad. Like you want as much caster as you can possibly get. It's better for off-roading, it's better for steering control, it makes it lighter. The camber and toe affect your tire wear. So most shops will immediately say, oh, well, your toe and your camber are way off. So they'll do everything that they can to get those to inspect without actually dealing with caster. It's especially difficult because of the way that the, the adjustments are set up on the 100 series, because a lot of shops don't even understand how to adjust it. A friend of mine named Caleb took his truck to Toyota and it took them five five hours to align his truck and it was way out of spec when they finished. So do your research, make sure that you understand how these things work, then buy a set of control arms that are going to get you the positive caster that you want with camber numbers that satisfy your needs. For me, I'm not really concerned with that because my tires are already chunked to hell. They're going to get beat up on the trail. I don't mind if they wear out a little bit prematurely. Chances are I'll probably slice one open anyway. This truck is a trail rig all around. It was never intended for the highway anyway. But uh, long term, I might go with some SPCs again or something like that to correct the camber and caster adjustment on this side because that's way, way far off of what I want. Uh, but it's so much better than the Total Chaos arms and uh, the OEM control arms that I was running just a couple of weeks ago. So I hope this video gave you a few pointers. Um, if you don't know how to use an alignment rack, then don't. Uh, make sure that you let the professionals handle it. But uh, the last, last tip I'll give you, obviously you want to make sure that your steering wheel is straight while you're doing this. Um, the first time that I aligned my truck myself, I didn't, and the steering wheel was off. Rookie mistake, but hey, you live and learn, right? Last tidbit here, tie rods are 20 mil. Uh, if you've got the 555s, these are, uh, the 22 mil is to adjust the cams, so the big cam bolts on the inside here and here, those are a 22, and on the outside, those are a 19. So I'm using these um, awesome adjust adjustable flex heads, and then uh, this guy is for the uh, the big 
the big nut on the tie rod here, that guy. So, should give you all the tools that you need for success.